Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Clay Boss Potter's Wheel from Speedball. Okay, lastly, I wanna show you my Clay Boss. This was the most budget big wheel that centers about 100 pounds of clay. The most budget wheel that was available when I bought mine a few years ago. Uh, so, flips on right there. It's got a great pedal. It is responsive as I'll get out. It's my workhorse. I use it every day for a lot. This is I'm not moving this guy. This weighs about 70 pounds. Uh, the splash pan is real easy to take off. You just click this off. I have a lot of junk in here right now, so I'm not going to do it, but you just pull this and it separates out. Real easy to clean. I should clean it more <laughs> than I do. Um, it go, this one goes one direction. The newer models go both directions. I think this runs around 700, 720, maybe 750. But um, it's powerful, reliable. I've loved this wheel. It was a great investment. The wheel head's a 14-inch wheel head with 10-inch bat pins here. Um, so it fits all my bats, and it can even have some, you know, I think it, it can even fit like a 15-inch bat or... Maybe even a little bigger than that. So sometimes when I'm throwing big bowls, I can use a bigger bat than the than the, this is a 14-inch bat. What else do you want to know about this? Um, it's a great wheel. It's uh, you know you can pay about a thousand bucks for wheels. That's kind of standard par for the course, but now all these budget options that are coming out just makes it so much more accessible to get involved, to start throwing pots. So this would be the cheapest of the upper level center, a hundred pounds of clay uh, type wheels. It's sturdy. It's construction is sound. You can adjust the height. I actually took, cause I like to be a little, I'm a little shorter and I like to be a little closer to the ground than most. So I took off the extensions on the legs. So I'm pretty I'm sitting a little lower than most people would. You know, the noise on this one is also not very, very much. I think I clocked this. I measured it at um, 60, no, 56 decibels. So uh, almost, I never noticed it. I'm always throwing with ear, earbuds usually too. I'm either listening to audiobooks or music or sermons or whatever. And uh, I... I never noticed this, but in the event that I don't throw uh, with listening to something, I still don't hardly notice it. It's pretty, it's pretty quiet. And of course, it works great with the Giffen grip. Um, that's it. That's all we got. Hey, thanks for watching this video series on Potter's Wheels. I made this graphic comparing 14 aspects of the five different wheels I own. You can download it for free in the links below. You can also purchase wheels and other gear that we recommend at the links below. Now these are affiliate links, so if you buy, our channel will get a small commission off, the per off your purchase at no cost to you. Now if you have questions or thoughts about these wheels, please leave them for me in the comments below. I'd love to help you out on your clay journey. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Okay.